guys. Oh, excuse my dog. So we are finished with the G8 and I'm so excited. We got the supercharger on yesterday and we also got the Mighty Mouse catch can. So those were the last two finishing touches that we had to do. Um, now we are going to be driving it around. We gotta go get fresh fuel in it and then we are going to be email tuning with Dave Glanzer today. racetrack for the first time this year um, we are actually going to a different track than our normal home track Martin unfortunately closed yesterday due to their pits being uh, very flooded so we are going up to mid Michigan Motoplex I think it's called Motorplex, yep. um, and we are going to see what this car can do I don't I don't know if we're gonna run it all out and right at right off the bat um, but it all depends on the driver but what we are going to do is make sure the tune's good um, I really wanted to get it tested today or this weekend because in the first week of May we are heading to South Carolina for streetcar bragging rights and I need time if something happens or anything else to the car I need time to be able to fix it and uh, get the parts in you know the deal but we are hoping today that we can secure at least our normal pass of about 1050 if it goes faster great I mean pretty much you've seen uh, what we did over winter it's just the bigger exhaust all that stuff the blower went to torque storm got refreshed um, and they actually gave us back the blower that they gave us at the end of the year last year to test out for them just to make sure everything in it works good because they're trying to switch up their process a little bit. Um, needless to say, we're excited. Uh, our tuner, Dave Glanzer, is aware that we're gonna be here. I think he has something going on today with his kids, but he said he will have his laptop with him. So we will be getting to the track here shortly um, unfortunately it is double the distance of what Martin is and it was kind of sad just driving past Martin and be like oh yeah we're halfway yeah. <laughs> but we travel all over the country for events so a two hour and 50 minute drive almost three hour drive is really nothing nothing, nothing. Um, but let's see how today goes and uh, stay tuned hopefully you Put up some good numbers today and hopefully the car goes home in one piece and we'll be good thanks for watching tracks all the time. True. It'll be good. <laughs>
aim it right. There you go. Alright, so we are on our way home from the track. Not sure where this is going to show up in the video, but it's going to be either before or after the track passes. A um, few things today. We've never been to that track. We said that. Prep wasn't the best. No. Not I, at all. I wasn't expecting Martin Prep anyway, which is a badass prep. So, um, the recap. First pass that we made uh, is spun right off the head. And we wanted only, I only wanted her to go to the 8th to make sure everything is good in the tune and the car wise. Did that good. Second pass, um, but it spun on the 60 foot. Now, the second pass, uh, we went back to the pits. I put in. <laughs> what is that? The second pass, I put in our suspension setup and. Mostly what we run for if we do... Uh, no prep. Okay, no prep <laughs> racing. Um, and we didn't hit it all the way hard on the line, but we got it and it went down. And uh, she let off the eighth and went, uh, still went a, a 10, so which is good. Uh, third pass... Was it only three passes? Yes. Third pass, uh, she hit it out of the hole, spun. It was controlled. Spin. I don't think she lifted. If she did, I couldn't tell. Um, and then we went uh, a 1060. Uh, everything was junk about spun, spinning and everything else. But uh, 1060 at 130. So overall, it was a good start to the season. Um, unfortunately, the car pushed coolant and. We've been having this issue off and on. I can't exactly trace it down of what's causing it because it is not a consistent issue. It will do it sometimes and sometimes it won't. Does it whenever the car is at different temperatures. The car didn't overheat. Uh, it was at hottest was 190 and uh, the other stuff is just not consistent. Like it's, it's done it at 180, it's done it at 210. Today it was at 190. And, and it did it, um, and I can't figure it out. Uh, since we started having this issue, I've changed thermostats. So right now, we are actually en route to our friends over at Horsepower Depot, and we're going to do a leak down test on it and see if it is head gaskets, because that's about where I'm at, and if it is, I'd like to get started on it and get the head gaskets changed out so we can uh, get this thing ready for South Carolina. Yeah, we still need more track days, obviously. Just to make sure that it's actually going to work for South Carolina. And also, the, the track prep, it wasn't the greatest. It wasn't the worst I've, I've, we've ever seen either. Uh, another issue is, is we still have our tires, our radials on that we've had on the car for a year and a half. And these things, I am surprised that they are still lasting. Uh, we have a brand new set of radials at the house that we are going to be changing before we go to the track next time. But I just wanted to do uh, the first track day on the old tires just to have a shakedown. And in my mind, I really just didn't want to change the tire too. Uh, so we, we have all that stuff. Everything looks good on the tune. I'm hoping that we can figure out this coolant issue. And at the end of the day, we can pick up time and everything else. Uh, our boost numbers are good. Uh, we're seeing about nine pounds of boost, which is normal. And so uh, we'll keep it up and go to the track, hopefully next weekend, if not in two weeks. Um, and uh, we will keep everyone updated. We'll do another video. But as for now, uh, the Torx from G8 is still proving to be very good. Um, if I, I might need to, the converter seems a little bit loose now. I might need to change the train fluid because we have had that hot and baked. Um, so I might change the training fluid out. We haven't done it since training got built and some other stuff. So it's, it's a rough day, but this is the exact reason why we went to this track two and a half hours away so we could get this thing and figure out what issues there are so we can tackle them. Get them fixed.
need to get this figured out, get the car good, so hopefully it stays low to no maintenance like it has always been, and I can focus on the S2000 and get that done and racing before the winter, winter time. So, thanks for watching. We may have some uh, videos of us doing pressure tests. I don't know. Depends on the editor. I don't, I don't edit the G8 videos. I edit my videos of my cars. Emily edits the videos of her cars. So there is two different editing styles when we do make YouTube videos. Two different videos. Yep. Alright, so this is it. Thanks for watching. Any questions, let us know. We usually answer. Hit us up on our Instagram, YouTube comments, whatever. We always try to get back to everybody that says us something. Check out our TikTok. I'm in charge of that. It's pretty good to, for me to say. Thanks.